Morning, Sunday 17th of June. Just uh, woke up to a nice surprise this morning because uh, for a long time now I've been trying to back up some of the videos we've been making on uh, Dropbox <laughs> and uh, just been seems to be absolutely impossible. It's just all the hotels we've been in since Croatia. The internet is just so slow. <laughs> Um, so just basically giving up really. Um, but this morning I woke up. All the videos are now all the videos are now uploaded, which means that everything is backed up. It's 46 videos or something that was impossible to back up. It's already now <laughs> backed up. Amazing. So this is the fastest internet we've had for months now. Okay, now we're finally out and about. Back in this park here, Freedom Park. And uh, just trying this. See what we've been recommended by the girl in the hostel. It's some kind of pizza dough bread with cheese and eggs. Don't you think it's a Georgian lunch? Fantastic. Okay, this is the life if you like football. <laughs> just sit here on a beanbag and uh, have a relax. Okay, just spent all afternoon basically doing nothing, watching football, eating. <laughs> Just been Pink, back to the hotel. Drinking cappuccino. Drinking cappuccino. Been back to the hotel. What we're going to do now? Back to the same place and just uh, watch another football. Indeed. So sorry, there's no big excitement today. No attractions. No facts. <laughs> we're just having a rest. Oh, and do nothing day. Very nice. Tomorrow we're back at work. Visas. Going to be mm. fun, isn't it? That. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, guess where we are once again. <laughs> Jamie's favorite place in the whole world. <laughs> Mexico have just scored against Germany. <laughs> Who would believe that? <laughs> hey, good morning, Monday 18. Just woke up early today, well, early for Iranian time. Got a taxi up here to the embassy and uh, should be open at 9, but so we've got to come back at 2. <laughs> Armenian <laughs> time. Armenian time, yeah. So, so it's back down to the hotel in a taxi again and we'll have to come back later. Okay, we are actually outside the embassy here in Yerevan, Iranian embassy, and I now have something in my passport. I never thought that would be in my passport just a few months ago. Now I have an Iranian visa in my passport. <laughs> so it means all three of us now have Iranian visas in our passports. That means we can go to Iran. <laughs> Who would have believed that? The strangest thing of all was actually that in Turkey they made us bring the printed out piece of paper with the visa application. Um, we thought we could just do it electronically, but we couldn't. We had, to, we had to run all the way back to the hotel and get them to print out the piece of paper. So this time I came really prepared. I came with the piece of paper printed out. And then when I tried to give it to the guy, he says, we don't need that. Just need your passport. So <laughs> We've been in a taxi quite a few times today, up and down. The embassy is quite high up in the town. But I uh, had a few funny experiences because the name of the hotel is called My Hotel. So when the taxi driver asked me, where's the hotel? The name of the hotel, I says, my hotel. He says, no, what's the name of the hotel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and no matter how many times I tried to tell him, it was called my hotel. <laughs> he just couldn't understand it and I showed him the address and everything. He says, what's the name? <laughs> what's the name? It's my hotel. But, uh, I can show you now the reason why. It actually people. is called my hotel. But no matter how many times I tried to tell him, he just couldn't work it out. But, um, Got us here. It's the uh, final evening here in Yerevan. And uh, of course, we're enjoying the nice, cozy bars here and watching football. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a great uh, family atmosphere in this town. It's a really nice place just to stroll around and go in the different bars and watch a football game. Really nice place, really nice atmosphere. So. That's what we do for the final evening here, just enjoying the nice warm summer evening. There's another bar there. Also football. Another one here, also football in there. Lots of bubbles I can see. So, yeah, really nice uh, town worth visiting. We haven't seen too many sites, but we mainly keep coming back to the same place here. For the young kids, so they can sit there and draw, and somebody helping them while the parents are, I suppose, eating or watching football. Mm, yeah. 
That's a great place for families, it really yeah. is. Really. Okay, haven't had much time for sightseeing these last few days in Yerevan. Mainly a lot of practical things we need to get organised and planned for the route ahead. But now, in the final evening, I'll see if I can just catch a few of the sights. And now I'm on my way down through North Street, it's the main shopping street. And then uh, coming down to a place called Republic Square. It should be quite nice when the in the evening should all be lit up with uh, water fountains and this kind of thing. So let's see, uh, let's see when I get down there if we can uh, just catch that before we have to leave tomorrow. <laughs> quite amazing, really. This is a Monday evening now. And the amount of life that's in the town. Lots of families walking around, enjoying the evening. So yeah, this is the main shopping street. A lot of the branded shops, just like on any other Western high street. Except in England, they may know this shoe shop. Another smart cafe here on the high street. Even a Burger King. It won't be long, and we won't be able to see any of these kind of brands. <laughs> A pizza shop here, Tashia Pizza. That's where we had a pizza the other night in the other town. It's a kind of chain, just like McDonald's, it's the equivalent, the Armenian equivalent of a pizza hut, I think. Yeah, quite a nice place. Nice hotel here. We're still on North Avenue here, so yeah. Nice hotel there. Making our way down to Republic Square now. Another cosy street restaurant, mm, cafe. Of course, watching the football. So this place is ready for all the England football match that's going to be taking place. It's Ten o'clock here this evening, <laughs> local time. Okay, this behind me now. This is uh, what is known as Republic Square here in Yerevan. This is one of the main attractions here in Yerevan. Um, been told at nine o'clock there should be a fantastic light show and music show and uh, with the water fountains behind me in action so it's a quarter past eight now so I'll wait for that. The uh, Republic Square this house is some of the most important buildings here in the Yerevan is the uh, uh, history museum and there's the um, government buildings there with the clock it's a little bit like Big Ben. Um, extremely beautiful when it's lit up here. National Gallery and there's a Marriott hotel over there. Some of the most important buildings in Europe are there in this square here. It actually used to be called Lenin Square, named during the uh, Soviet era. Um, there used to be a statue of Lenin in the square here, but uh, that was removed when Armenia got its independence and then they uh, renamed it Republic Square. So. This uh, square as well here, this is also the place where thousands of people were here back in April this year protesting after the president decided to change the constitution after his 10 year term expired and he changed the constitution to allow him to be re-elected as prime minister but the people didn't take too happy to that and they protested here and after a few days he, he actually resigned due to the large number of protests so, uh, it makes a change now from a Soviet orientate the uh, government to uh, a new era of politics here in Armenia. That's so where building work on this new uh, square actually started in 1924. Um, it's supposed to be one of the best uh, city squares built in the 20th century. It was actually the complete, I think the last building was finished in the 1950s. So it's, uh, it's not too old really. Under the, under the square here, the ruins uh, of the city are from 3,000 years old, so uh, it's built on top of ancient ruins. A very old part of the world. Also amazing and nice and warm it is here. It's now getting close to 9 o'clock. The light show should start in a minute, but it's still really warm. But, uh, lady working in the reception of a hotel she said it actually gets in, it's normal to be in the 40s here in the summer in the next month of, of July so, uh, so it's a good time to be here now 
but uh, just a nice temperature at the moment. It's amazing to think we're at a thousand meters altitude here, so we're still quite high up. Yeah. But, uh, not as high as we're going to be in the next few days. I eh? maybe we're going to have some big climbs to do when we get back on the bikes tomorrow. Okay, people are starting to stream in now to the square here. About 15 minutes, there should be a nice light show, I've been told. Let's see what that looks like. I was just standing under the fountain then, so I'm pretty soaked now. But, uh, the light show was good though, and the fountain show was good. So. Oh yeah, I enjoyed that. Let's uh, make my way back to the hotel now. Actually carries on till 11 o'clock, but uh, it'll be too late for me today. We have to get up early tomorrow. A lot of biking to do in the next few days. Lots of big mountains that I can uh, tell you about tomorrow when we get back on the bikes again. So. That was uh, just about all the sightseeing I had time for in uh, Yerevan. There'll be a place to come back in the future, I don't know. It's really nice here when the football was on, just to sit there watching the, the football. That was really nice. So, yep. Okay, tomorrow we have to get uh, bikes packed again. Bikes packed, bikes loaded. Back on the road, we've got a challenging week ahead but should be a really exciting week ahead with lots to see and experience here in Armenia as we head down to the border of Iran. We've got three stamped visas in our passports, what we came for, well just came for mine. We already had Meda and Jamie's, that was the main reason for coming here. I didn't actually realise it was such a nice city, such a nice place to be until we got here but uh, that was a nice surprise. But, uh, Okay, yep, I'll see you tomorrow on the bikes.